Leah, did you just throw on a jacket to hide that you're filming two videos in one sitting? Yes, I did, because like I said, I have to return these to the library. <laughs> Welcome to Violet's Cover. Today we're talking about A Darker Shade of Magic. I am so excited to talk about this book cover. I don't think you understand. Like, I love flat design. You're gonna find that out maybe less because like books don't usually have this type of design, but I love graphic, simple, limited color palette design. This is everything I love. Wow. It's even got the red, black, and white, like... But that's actually very important to this story. A Darker Shade of Magic is by V.E. Schwab, which is actually a pen name for a woman. This is the US cover. I've seen, I think, a UK and Australian cover, and sorry, but they do not hold up to this at all. Wow. The cover design is by Will Stahel. Dale, I hope I got that right, I'm sorry. He owns his own studio called Unusual Co. in Seattle, Washington. He's formerly the art director at HarperCollins Publishing, so like he knows what he's doing. He's also done the um, hand lettering title card for Gravity Falls, which is hugely popular. I couldn't find um, what font this was. It might be specially made for this. I lied. I just found it. It's called Poly Spring. I love the thin serifs and the all caps. I think it reflects the time period well. It's not like too vintage. Like it has this modern element to it that I really like. I'm pretty sure that the inside copy is just Times New Roman. I lied again. It's Garamond. Which not unique but it's the most easily to read copy font and it's like old and this is old so it kind of makes sense there's actually an interview um with will about the process they did to choose this cover there are pictures of like former drafts and it's really cool to see the process and some of them are also cool like there was a hand with the matte patterns and then red veins through it, but they thought it looked a little too gory. It's also like a very YA cover guy standing with his back to you, like in front of an explosion or something probably. And I'm so glad they didn't go with that. It's overdone, let's be real. This is so unique and works so well for the book. It's set in Victorian London, but there's four Londons in like four alternate real realities and this guy named Kel can jump between them. You have this perfect overhead shot of like maps of London and he's passing between them and the Londons he nicknames um, gray, black, red, and white depending on like what it's like there. So you have black London and red London. I thought his coat was like a little much at first but he actually has a red coat so it works. This design, the flatness of it, and the limited colors actually reminds me of Saul Bass and if you don't know design and don't know who that is you should go look him up right now because he is very famous for lots of iconic movie posters and stuff. You'll see what I mean right away. The type's not like his but we're just talking about the picture. The overhead angle works really well for this flat design so I'm going to throw some pictures of the sequels to A Darker Shade of Magic up here. Same style, same limited color palette. This one like is very fun looking and that's what drew me in at first. There's magic. This like sums it up very well and I was like super excited. And it actually is a little dark, which I'm okay with. You can see that more on the second cover where there is the black figure, and all these hands and it's very creepy. Now that I've finished this one and I know what's happening, I haven't read those other ones yet. Um, I'm less scared of it. Like I know who that person sitting on the throne is. This is gonna sound so nitpicky, but I actually do have one critique for this. It's so minor, like you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I would actually switch the red and the black of the Londons. The plot of the story is he's from Red London and he's trying to get to Black London. So 
Like, it would just make more sense that he's going from red to black. They probably did just have that contrast of the cape against the black, which I get. But like, that's so minor. Don't even worry about it. It's really nice. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.